All right, guys, today is a pretty exciting video, in my opinion, because we are talking about PlayStation 5 games. We are getting that much closer to the official PlayStation 5 reveal, the event, and the game showcase. And many of us have been predicting for quite some time now what games we are expecting to be there. And there's also some rumors that we may get some game announcements actually outside of the event itself they could just be standalone announcements but they are directly related to the playstation 5 so this is what we're going to be talking about today we have a little bit of an update on the horizon zero dawn sequel and it is official because it's coming from a job listing and this i just kind of wanted to let you guys know what they're hoping to achieve with this game which i think most of us are already kind of anticipating but it's just nice to know that they're really trying to go above and beyond here to apparently set the benchmark industry-wide for graphical fidelity, which is always an exciting thing to hear. We're talking more about this Silent Hill game on PS5, because even though Konami acknowledged it and said that the rumors are not true, the people who have been uh, talking about these rumors and apparently have been correct about things in the past are not letting it go away, because apparently... It is, in fact, a real thing that is happening, and Konami just wants people to kind of get off the trail a little bit here. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that, and then finally we're going to mention the Resistance games, because there are people who think that Insomniac Games is actually teasing something Resistance-related for the PlayStation 5, and so we're just going to take a little bit of time to talk about that as well. So before we go any further, if you could do me a big favor, hit the like button to help the video out and show your support, and make sure you hit the subscribe button as well so you don't miss any future content. But starting here with the Horizon Zero Dawn sequel, you know that we talked about this a little bit, covering that VGC article where there was a lot of information revealed. And one thing that was revealed in that article is that the game is set for PS5. It was originally going to be for PS4, but development has since shifted entirely over to next gen. And there's no doubt in my mind it will be a PlayStation 5 exclusive, not a cross-gen game, certainly not a game going to PC. I fully expect it to be a PS5 only game. It says here, as far as we're concerned, The Last of Us Part 2 looks better than any of the next-gen games announced thus far. And while great graphics don't always make for a great experience, they are unquestionably one of the biggest selling points of new systems. It may be down to Guerrilla Games to showcase exactly what PlayStation 5 is capable of then, as many expect Horizon Zero Dawn sequel to comprise part of Sony's anticipated blowout. Now, I do agree with this. This is why I wanted to read this part, because I am fully expecting that when we see the PlayStation 5 game showcase, when Sony talks about their exclusive titles, whether it be first, second, or third party, I do think that Horizon, uh, some sort of sequel, whatever they're going to call it, I don't know if it's going to be called Horizon Zero Dawn 2, it'll probably be called Horizon something, I think we are going to see that game showcased, and I think it's going to blow people's minds. It says here, a job listing on the Dutch developer's website teases its ambition for the project as it's recruiting a technical vegetation artist, which will allow its world dressing teams to deliver our immersive world with industry benchmark graphics. Now, obviously, they are not directly referencing the PlayStation 5, but there's no doubt in my mind that is exactly what they're talking about here, and that is exactly how they plan to achieve industry benchmark graphics, not just by developing the game on PlayStation 5, but making it exclusively for the PlayStation 5 to be able to fully harness the entirety of it and extract everything out of it they possibly can while not having to worry about being held back by the lower common denominator, that being the PS4 Pro, or the base model PS4, or even possibly the PC, it says apparently the studio has four teams dedicated to making stunning environments, and it showed with the original entry on PlayStation 4. Now, I find this interesting as well because I noticed that the sentiment a lot of gamers have when it comes to Horizon Zero Dawn is how this is a game that came out in 2017, and it's been uh, quite some time, and we've seen a lot of games come out since then, and yet Horizon Zero Dawn still holds its own. A lot of people still look at this game as one of the best looking games graphically to come out this generation, and even games that are coming out today don't look as good as Horizon Zero Dawn. So when you think about that, right, it really gets your mind racing as to just how good this next generation version of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn sequel is going to look. And it's just exciting to me to hear that this is what they're trying to achieve. What's also very exciting is when you think about this, this is not the first time we're hearing this from a studio that's working on a PlayStation 5 exclusive. In fact, if you think back to Blue Point Games, they're working on this big remake PS5 exclusive that is 
almost nearly confirmed at this point to be Demon Souls. I know there's a lot of people hoping it's going to be something else. It still could be, but it's seeming very likely it's going to be Demon Souls. But one of the things they did say when talking about it, because this is something that is officially confirmed, as in they've confirmed that their game is a PS5 exclusive, on their website, they were basically saying that they're looking to try to also do the same thing, set the industry benchmark when it comes to graphical fidelity. Now, this is something that I love highlighting when it comes to Sony's first party teams, or even their partners that they work with, they're all competing with one another. And I just think it creates just an awesome environment because you, you can clearly see that Sony, when it comes to their first party studios, this is exactly what they do. They try to one up each other. They try to set the bar even higher so that when you know the next team, it's their turn to go, they're going to try to just do even more, right? They're going to try to do something even better. All you have to do is look at The Last of Us Part Two and look at Ghost of Tsushima to clearly see that. I mean, when you see people looking at these games and saying, you know, um these look next gen to me right and we're not even they're not even next gen games just imagine what these next gen games are going to look like so just wanted to take some time here to share that with you because i find it pretty exciting i absolutely cannot wait for this game to be announced and to hear more about it and just to see it for myself but moving on from that we are talking about the silent hill rumor it says the future of, Silent, of the Silent Hill franchise may be approaching faster than expected after rumors spread over the past several months that a Silent Hill game was in the works at Sony and perhaps even a second game. Many may have believed any official announcement must still be a ways off. The Silent Hill leaker is back, however, and ready to break more news. According to the leaker, the new Silent Hill game is set to be revealed soon. Dust Golem is a Twitter user and leaker best known for their reliable Resident Evil related leaks, yet they've since dabbled the news regarding regarding a relationship between Konami and Sony to make one or two Silent Hill games. One of the games has purportedly gone through successfully and is in development, made by the director of the original Silent Hill and his team. So his original tweet here, he says, I don't know much on Silent Hill I haven't shared, but it's apparently going to be revealed soon, so I'm looking forward to it. I still believe it from what I was shown, but I do have a healthy skeptic in me. Um, and this is important to you know acknowledge because he's not saying definitively like he's very 100% confident in everything he's saying about Resident Evil when it comes to what he's saying about Silent Hill he's still confident in it and he actually elaborates on this a little bit further if you go on his Twitter he says just to clarify the healthy skepticism comment is because while I've seen evidence of Silent Hill existing and I believe the evidence it's not fully concrete I've not seen the game there's certain details I know for a fact but others I'm trusting others word on and so I think what he's trying to say there is basically that he hasn't seen it for himself, but the contacts he has, he trusts enough to come out here and say that he does believe it is, is still a real thing and it's going to happen and that the reason why it may be revealed soon is because you know we don't know how far along in development it is. We don't even know if this is 100% true, but apparently one of the reasons why they want to announce it sooner rather than later is because of all the rumors, because this is something that is really starting to catch on. It's becoming less and less of a secret. Konami tried to come out here and basically say, no, there's no truth to the rumors, but we've seen publishers do that before to kind of, again, get people off the trail once they're really starting to put this stuff together. So, you know, as to whether or not I believe this, I do. Maybe that's just me being wishful, wanting it to be a real thing, but it just seems like this individual aesthetic gamer or dust golem, whatever you want to call them, they've been accurate enough in the past to where they're still coming out here saying, look, they still believe it. It is, you know, important to understand that they are saying you want to be a little bit skeptical. Don't buy into it 100%, but based off of what he's been told, the contacts that they, they you know, talk to, they believe them, they trust them. It seems like this is, in fact, something that's still going to happen. And the, the rumor is it's going to be revealed sometime this month. So hopefully that's true. I would love to see a Silent Hill game. Um, I think that it would be a big, win, a big win for Sony if this does end up getting announced. I'm a big fan of horror games. I've seen some people ask me why I haven't seemingly shown any excitement for that game that was announced uh, on Xbox's Inside Xbox event, uh, The Medium. And actually, I am a little bit excited for that. I I think it's one of these things where the trailer looked really cool. I'm into the whole 
uh, theme they got going on there. And I did find out that apparently that game, The Medium, is only being made for the Xbox Series X. I think it's also being made for PC, but it's not going to be held back by the base model Xbox One. And this was actually confirmed by the development team. They said that this is the reason why it's only going to be on Xbox Series X is because if they tried to put it on the Xbox One, some of their gameplay design decisions would have been held back. So that just gets me excited to see gameplay for the medium, not to completely de derail the Silent Hill conversation. I just wanted to let you guys know about that. But either way, I really hope that this is a real thing and it does end up being announced because it would just be unfortunate if after all this time, it turns out that what Konami said is actually true and that it's just not a thing uh you know there's been a lot of talk around this for quite some time now so in my opinion where there's smoke there's fire and there's been a lot of smoke coming from this and i wouldn't be surprised if we were to get the announcement this month or maybe even next month so be sure to let me know what you would think of a silent hill announcement you know after hearing what Dust golem has to say here they're continuing to talk about it do you feel confident that this is a real thing or are you remaining 100% skeptical and not believing anything until you actually see it? Let me know. The last thing we're going to be highlighting here is uh, Resistance update or remasters. There are some rumors being sparked. Now, granted, there's really not much here to go on, but I do kind of understand where people are coming from. Insomniac Games has been tweeting out some Resistance-related stuff just for you know months and months now, just kind of sporadically. And people are kind of wondering why they would do this if it's just for the sake of maybe reminiscing, you know, reminding people that these are games they've made. That could 100% be a possibility. But a lot of people are thinking that this is basically them low-key hinting that when it comes to the PlayStation 5, they're going to have some remakes or remasters that they're going to be releasing. Now, this could be true. We've heard that Insomniac Games is apparently working on another Ratchet & Clank game as well. Colin Moriarty was the one who basically said this. He didn't say when it's launching, but he said he knows that they're working on another Ratchet and Clank game, so I don't doubt that. We also heard Sony acknowledge that this is a game franchise, that being Ratchet and Clank, that they want to continue. We know they're working on another Spider-Man, so you have to wonder, like, you know, would it be stretching them too thin to have another team working on remastering, remastering or remaking some one or a few of the resistance games it sounds like it could be but one thing i've also heard is that insomniac games is absolutely massive to where they do have multiple teams and it's not out of the realm of possibility that they could have a team just dedicated to doing this um it's also worth noting that maybe they could get blue point to work on it although i do not think that that is the game blue point is going to announce i think it's going to be demon souls maybe they could work on it afterwards maybe demon souls is already basically finished or close to being finished and they're working on this next this is just me taking shots in the dark here i'm just speculating so i really just wanted to mention this because i want to see what you guys have to say do you think there could be any truth to this do you think that we could see insomniac return to resistance in some form here by maybe remaking or remastering some games or do you think that it's just a coincidence and they're just you know they're just out here basically reminding people that these are games they made and you know they just want to show some love on twitter let me know down in the comments below let me know your thoughts on everything we talked about here that's going to do it for the video be sure to leave it a like if you did enjoy it or if you found it informative subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already hit the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload and feel free to share this video out on top of all that but until next time guys Take care.